All right, let's get back to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb. Chris, as you are continuing to track Milton, there's a lot to keep an eye on. We really have a lot to watch, especially for the state of Florida, and we are watching some potential impacts for far south Georgia and the Georgia coastline as well. Even though the Georgia coastline isn't going to get a direct landfall, it still will be feeling some of those impacts. So here's the latest on the hurricane. Still a cat five, but as we mentioned earlier, it's gone down from 180 mile an hour winds that we had at eight o'clock tonight now to 165 mile an hour winds. What's happening? It's experiencing an eye wall replacement cycle right now, and you see often some fluctuations in the winds, and it really takes a lot of energy for a cat five to maintain winds at 180 miles an hour. So we expect to see some of those fluctuations here. The track shows that just north of the Yucatan Peninsula where they have a hurricane warning in effect. It looks like it's going to just skirt the Yucatan here, but still the southern part of that is encountering land that might also be uh, kind of contributing to the wind speeds coming down a little bit. We expect it to become a cat four early on Wednesday morning with winds of about 145 miles an hour and then before landfall later on Wednesday, most likely coming back to a cat three. Now I hesitate to say weakening. I mean, it is weakening to a cat three, but that is still a major hurricane and everybody in Florida needs to be taking this very seriously here. And we've got that hurricane warning in effect for much of the western coast of Florida. Then it crosses the peninsula, moves over out into the Atlantic and it falls apart. But this is the part once it goes over Florida, moves into the Atlantic that we have to watch because the north end of that system is going to cause a tropical storm watch in effect for the Georgia coast. So here's a look at that. You can see the warnings uh, down into Florida and then a hurricane watch for the eastern half of Florida. Here is that tropical storm watch in effect for not only the Georgia coast, but the South Carolina coast as well, as they're going to have some storm surge, maybe up to six feet there. Also a lot of wind and rain, maybe tropical storm force winds there with some of that heavy rain too. We have a cold front coming in that is actually helping us with Milton by pushing those impacts to the south. That front's going to give us cooler air as well as enhance the dry air in our area. Look